Well, listen, we have a special guest today, and I can tell you right now, Yvonne, that there are people around the world that would love to be sitting in this position to get into the mind of what the world knows his name as Little Richard, but we call him Brother Richard. That's He's right. a brother in the Lord. That's right. Brother Richard and Little Richard, so the world will know we're so glad that you are here today. Yes, thank you so much. And allowed us to interview thank you. Thank you, babe. God bless you. There are very few people in the world that just has one name or don't have to give their last name to know yeah, who they are. Yeah, there right. was Elvis, there's little Richard. And Oprah Winfrey. Oprah. Oprah. Beyonce. Yeah, beyond a few few folks like that. Yes. And he, and of course you are one of those yes, yes. that are known around the world. Yes. And what's been amazing to us is that you reach an audience that stretches generations. That's right. Like my grandkids, yes. when I said we're interviewing little Richard, the <laughs> eight, nine year olds, Really, we want to be there. Well, they're here today. They're sitting back there. Yeah. The teenagers, well, we want to be there. We love little Richard. So Thank you have people who love you I appreciate around it. the world. I appreciate it. And, you, and they've loved me for a long time. I remember <clears throat> when I met Elvis in Las Vegas, I heard somebody in my audience just kept screaming. I didn't know it was Elvis. <laughs> and he was just screaming, screaming. And he had never met me and he wanted to meet me. And he was getting ready to go into the army. Oh, okay. And so I, uh, I, I talked to him, but Colonel, his, the Colonel, the, his manager, wouldn't let him go back to my suite to talk to me. Oh. He wasn't allowed to have no visitors, nobody. It was almost like they had a restriction. You know, he, mm -hmm. couldn't, he, sure. he wasn't free to talk to people. Yeah. And so I would just tell him, I've always talked about Jesus. Mm. Debbie Reynolds just come to see me every night. Rock Hudson every night. Wow. You know, and, 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 and uh, uh, um, you know, the different ones, um, Anne Margaret, mm -hmm. every night. Wow. And, and I would be screaming and singing, and I had a song that I was singing called In the Name. Ah. Mm. And, and we were singing that song, and I would walk the audience. And uh, Jesse Boyce knows all about this. He's seen me walk the audience many times. And I would walk the audience, and I would just be singing the song. In the name, he brought me a little joy. Mm. He told me I was his baby boy. Yeah. <laughs> and he said to me, he would never leave. And then I would scream out, oh, Lord. Have mercy on pull me. Yeah. You know, and I would sing that every night. I would sing that. And my brother would be there, Peyton. And, and, and um, he was on the, I never took my brother, um, Charles, or my brother, uh, uh, um, Bobby. They never traveled with me. Mm -hmm. But most of my brothers traveled with me. Mm -hmm. And, and, and uh, we would argue, we would fuss, but we were still there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, uh, but, uh, um, and, and the Lord just showed me something, so I would be traveling, and I got so, I was afraid to fly. Mm. And I, I got so to fly in the airplane, I was afraid. When the airplane hit, I air put a pocket and go out. Yeah. Yeah. It, it just take my mind. Mm. Yeah. And so I don't fly no more. Yeah. I have a bus, I, I two in my bus. Yeah. When I have to go anywhere, I go in the bus. We have 13 beds on it, and mm -hmm. I go on it. And then one night, the Lord showed me we were just thinking, and, and, and how good God has been to me. And my mama had 12 children. Mm. Wow. And, and just showed me that Jesus was getting ready to come. Mm. And it kind wow. of shook my nerves. Mm -hmm. You know, it says that. Now, the when Lord's, was this? When, when was this? It, it, it was um, a, a few years ago now. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and that Jesus was getting ready to come. And, you know, people got. Oh, they've been saying that for years. Mm -hmm. uh, my grandmother said he was coming in her day. Mm -hmm. My grandfather said, he's coming. Yeah. I said, but the Bible says, in a little while, he that shall come will come. That's it. Will not tarry. That's right. Okay. And I believe that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I said, I believe that Jesus is coming soon. And he gave you signs to look at when his coming was near. You know how all these things, uh, how. Uh, uh, so much unnatural affection, mm -hmm. so much of just people just doing everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and no, don't think about God. Don't want no parts of him. 
And you know, at all of my shows and concerts, I would pass out something about God. Hmm. Wow. I had four guys that I paid $800 a week to each one of them to pass out my books. Yeah, wow. you're, you're still not hiring, are you? Because that, that, <laughs> you're still not hiring, are you? 800 a week, that I'm sounds not, pretty good. I, <laughs> I cut it off. I, I still, comp oh. I cut it off. <laughs> I cut it off. <laughs> I cut it off. But, but, and they was traveling all around, and I would give the people of this book called Steps to Christ. Yeah. Mm. To come close to Jesus. Mm -hmm. And and I, I just I just felt that mm -hmm. I said, Lord, and you know when I was a little boy, they taught everybody that when you die, you go to heaven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, and, and there was a guy there, he would teach you that 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 the person could come back. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. That, that, that and what they would do, <clears throat> they would let up the shades and the window when the person was dying. And they leave. They said that the, so the spirit could come out mm. out the window, and I believed that then, mm. and it had me so believing that I was afraid when the president died. I was scared they was coming back. Yes. And if you was mad with them, you didn't want them to come back. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, 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 and it was really, really something. And, and, and then, when, then when I got closer in reading God's word, I, I started reading about how the Lord let, let you know mm -hmm. that, that when a man die, he's dead. That's right. Wow. You know, he's sleep in the dust. If right. he's mm -hmm. died in faith, he's in the dust. And yeah. he's sleeping mm. in Jesus. And if he died, it was wicked, he died with that. And when he come mm. forth in the resurrection, he gonna have that same thing. Right. Mm. And so I was talking to Michael Jackson's mother and, and Catherine, and she said she believed in the resurrection. Mm -hmm. uh, I said, I believe in the resurrection too, but I believe also that you got to live right now. Right. Okay. In order for you to have a, a good resurrection of success, you got to live right now in Jesus. That's right. That's you right. can't play with him. He's a real God. That's right. He's a mm -hmm. real savior. That's okay. right. And he is the prince of life. All right. Mm -hmm. Come on he now. Is, he say he has power to lay down his life, and he has power to take it up. Yes, sir. All right. And you know, yes, sir. and when I see all that, it makes me just want, I say, oh, Jesus, please, Lord, please, Lord, don't let me be lost. Yeah. Mm. Lord, save me. Save me, Jesus. All right. Yes. Let me go with Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. And I said, Lord, please show me. And he says, Richard, you singing Tutti Frutti, you singing Good Golly Miss Molly, mm -hmm. you singing Long Tall Sally, mm -hmm. you singing Rip It Up and Red a Teddy, <laughs> you singing The Girl Can't Help It and She's Got It, you singing Miss <laughs> Ann, and, and, and all these things. And, and Jess was playing bass, making the bass talk. Mm. Yeah, that was the only talking bass on the stage. Oh, All right. I love it. Okay. I love it. Jesse likes that. He's here today. Oh, yeah, Jesse's yeah, liking talking that. that yeah. It was talking all over everywhere. I said, Lord, <clears throat> could you just help me? And I said, now, Lord, can I do this and still be saved? The Lord said, Richard, no man can serve two masters. Oh, oh mercy. Oh, oh come man. on. He said, you either love one or hold to one. Uh -oh. That she would hold to one and release one and despise the other. You can't do that. Wow. You got to love Jesus with everything else. Let it go. Come mm. on now, brother. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. Jesus showed me, said, Richard, said, you got to release that. So they come to me with millions of dollars. I'm not rich. I don't have a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And so the guy came to me a few days ago and offered me all kind of money. A few days ago, it ain't haven't been too much yet. Mm. Well, they want to do a show under my name, Little Richard. We're coming on every week. Mm -mm -mm. The show's called Little Richard. Yeah. And I'm not going to call the guy's name because you know him. He's very popular right now. Mm -hmm. And he wants to do that with me. Mm. And he says, Richard, he says, if we do that with you, you'll be the hottest thing on the planet. Mm. I said, I want to be hot in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> I, I said, because if you're going to be hot in the flame. And I, and I, I don't want to be hot in the flame. I said, I want to be saved in Jesus. Yes. I want to do what God wants me to do. Okay. I said, but it's hard. See, once you've been famous, once you've been like that, well, you make 
$100,000 a night for singing an hour. I would get $100,000 for singing one hour. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. I wouldn't make under $50,000 a night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and we were packed the place at the stage. Mm -hmm. and the girls and people screaming, sleeping out in front of the hotels. Yeah, yeah, have mercy. Just wanted to touch you, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I said, Lord, please help me, please save me. Yes. Mm. I didn't know, I just, I didn't see no harm in serving God and serving the mm -hmm. devil. That's what it was. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I, 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 I didn't understand what was wrong with me singing rock and roll, getting paid, mm -hmm. and doing everything else, and, and saying, what's wrong with it? Then the Lord showed me, said, Richard, says that I'm your father, I made you. Mm. I created you. Wow. And not only did I create you, I'm going to save you. I'm going to give you life everlasting. Yes. I'm mm -hmm. going to give you immortality. Okay. Yes. That you'll never All die right. again. Okay. You're going to have wings. There you go. That you ain't got to worry about the pilot. You're going to fly yourself. <laughs> yeah. And you're going from planet to planet, from place to place. And said, but all you got to do is do what God said do. I said, yeah. Lord, I says, but I ain't got no money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, I've always believed in sharing. Mm -hmm. and my, my people used to tell me, you're crazy. Mm. You're giving these people your money. But I believe that God blesses you to be a blessing. Yes. Okay. yes. And, and I bought a home here. And, and, and God blessed me to get, you know, I haven't stayed in it long because I've been sick. I had surgery mm -hmm. with my hip and it didn't come out good for me. Mm -hmm. And I believe that the Lord permitted it to come the way it came to save me. Yes. Okay. Yes. Because I was still trying to stay here and go to church here and still trying to sing rock and roll on the side. Mm -hmm. And one night I went to Pensacola, Florida. It was cold, cold. I went there and I was singing and my little nephew came to me and said, Uncle Richard, I said, well, he said, I'm gonna tell you something. He said, you won't get mad with me. I said, no. He says, you need to stop. Mm. He, says, he says, you don't sound good. Mm. He said, Uncle Richard, it sound terrible. Wow. He said, your piano sound awful. Mm -mm. He said, you don't need to do that no more. He said, give that up. Cause he said, you used to be sounding good, but it don't sound good no more. Mm. He said, so the devil ain't, ain't telling you the truth about it. Make wow. you, you sound, but you don't sound good. Mm. So when my nephew told me that, I said, I got to give this up. That's my blood nephew. Yeah. He's telling me something that is not good for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that's the last date I did in Las Vegas. And the crowd, it was so big that they moved us out. Just you remember, they moved us out in the yard, in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. They had to bring, it was, they didn't have nowhere to put them. Mm -hmm. And people just screaming. And I'm banging and singing and, <laughs> and, and, and screaming and hollering. And, 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 and you know, sometimes I would wear a glass suit. I, my, my, I had two tailors to travel with me. And what they do, we would go to town and they would go into the entertainer's dress room and see what kind of outfit they're going to wear. Mm. And then he would go back in the room and make me one better than that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and so I, I, I would have on a glass suit. Glass. With gla glass suit with glass shoes. Uh -huh. And when I came on the stage, just, you know, the, how the lights was everywhere. Yeah. Uh -huh. And, I, 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 and I, I, they, they said, we're going to bring it to you the living flame. <laughs> and, and I thought I was, and I didn't know I was getting ready to be a flame in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> and it just, it just moved on around. I said, Jesus, I said, you got to help me. Yes. Mm -hmm. You got to do something to help me. Because <clears throat> by my mama having all of them kids, mm -hmm. I, I believe that I was right. Mm -hmm. And I believe that I was famous. And the Lord, I believe the Lord made me famous. But the Lord saved me. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. He saved me. And, and, and I would go to singing and screaming these songs. And, and each one would get bigger and bigger. And, and bigger and bigger. I remember I was here in, in, in Nashville and the guy called me from Sony Records. He said, we got, I got something for you, little Richard. I said, what is it? He said, I got it for you. He came to me in a hotel and he gave me a check, a cashier's check. It was $500,000. Oh, wow. He said, you take this $500,000, this is yours. 
And, and, oh, I felt so funny with that $500,000. Mm. Although I made more than that, but it's, if you ain't never had nothing, yeah. $500,000, you feel like you're on top of the moon. That's right. Yeah. The sun and the stars. Yeah. 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 And, and, and I just said, Lord, you got to help me. Yeah. That's because uh, I don't want to be lost. If this money <clears throat> going to cause me to go to hell, mm. I don't want it. That's right. Okay. Is it going to cause me to, to move and to do this and to do that? And I sit there and, and I, I was singing a song called Directly From My Heart to You. And I used to hear Whitney Houston, I would hear Aretha, all these friends of mine, Whitney's mother, Sissy and all of them, and yeah. uh, Dion Ward, all of them. And, and, and I would sit there and I said, Lord, I said, are these people gonna go to hell if they keep singing this? And mm. the Lord says, I don't care who it is, little Richard, if they're not doing my will, wow. they won't be saved. Yeah. He said, the mm -hmm. Ten Commandments is my will. Wow. Mm. He said, it's the law of God, it's the law of holiness. Mm -hmm. It's the law of righteousness. And that's what you got to give. In order to go to heaven, you got to be holy because I'm holy. That's right. Mm. The angels are holy. Okay. The Spirit of God is holy. Mm -hmm. and, and if you don't live that way, you can't make it in. Mm. And, and it's just a beautiful blessing and a lesson to want to be like Jesus. Okay. To want to do what he wants you to do. Mm -hmm. To want to eat what he wants you to eat. Yeah. To want to drink what he wants you to drink. But mm -hmm. you get so that you want to follow people mm -hmm. and you, you want to be popular. Mm -hmm. See, people giving their life and their soul away just to be popular. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows this man. Uh, who is this? Coon Boom. Mm -hmm. Who is it? Coon Boom. And he's going to be boom, coom, in the flames of fire. <laughs> <laughs> because if you don't live for Jesus, you will not make it in. That's right. Okay. And if you don't make it through, ain't nothing else for you to do but live for Jesus. Mm -hmm. Give everything you got to Jesus and you'll be, oh, you'll feel so much better. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just, it's just like everybody's turning one way or the other. This man here, uh, 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 when I first came in show business, they, they, uh, they, they, they wanted you to look like everybody but yourself, yeah. <laughs> you know. And, and, and anybody that comes to me, they're going to say you're gay, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, are you straight, yeah. are you uh, 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 homosexual something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're going to say it. But it, it, that God, Jesus made men, men. He made women, women. That's okay. Right. All That's right. That's right. You know. Okay. And, and you got to live the way God wants you to live. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But see, he made you that, and he loves all of us. Yes. Yes. Regardless of whatever you are, he loves you. That's, That's right. right. I don't care what you are. That's he right. loves you, and he can save you, and he will save you, yes. and he can help you, That's and he will preaching. help you. That's mm -hmm. good preaching. That's wonderful. He will help you. All you got to do is say, Lord, take me as I am. I'm a sinner, but we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That's yeah. right. Yeah. The That's only right. holy and righteous person is Jesus. That's, That's right. right. And, and he wants us to be just like him because in order to go to heaven, we got to look like him. Mm -hmm. okay. When the father looked down, he got to see his son. That's right. Okay. If you don't see his son, you ain't gone nowhere. Mm -hmm. okay. And God mm -hmm. knows I want to be saved in God's kingdom. I'm 84 years old. I'm mm. getting old. My mama never lived to get so. My dad was 39 when he died. Mm. Mm. My best friend killed my daddy. Wow. Oh, you know, wow. at 39 mm. years old. Mm, mm, mm. And, and, and he robbed my daddy's nightclub. We called it nightclub now, but back then it was old juke joint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you know, they called them clubs. There wasn't mm -hmm. no club, mm -hmm. you know. But the, he killed my daddy. I came home one night, my mama said, Richard, Dad is dead. He had a raincoat lying on the front porch, blood everywhere. And I just, it just shook my mind. Mm. I, and my dad fed the poor people. He was a bootleg. He sold, they called the moonshine. Mm. Some people called it stump, stump mm. whiskey. Mm. And they, they sold half a pint, and they sold a pint, and, and, and it was everywhere, you know. But when God touches your life, you don't want none of that no more. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want to sing rock and roll no more. Mm. I don't want to 
to, to, to I, I wasn't no drinker or no drunk. I wasn't that no way. But I don't want to ever be that. Mm -hmm. I want to be holy like Jesus. Yes. Okay. I ain't been there, but I want to be there. There you go. And, and that's why I used to tell my friend Jesse Boyce, he has been with me for a long time. How many years was you with me, Jesse? 35. 35 years. 35? 35 years. Yeah, I'm going to put one more. I believe it was 40. <laughs> <laughs> he been with me all these years, he, and he was just, you know, just, just wonderful. He's from Greenville, South Carolina, mm -hmm. and I just, and he is another guy named Escarita. He was from there. Jesse Jackson is from there, mm -hmm. and, and I just, when I got this boy, I never heard nobody play music like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he had all these records you heard on a recent. That was him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Playing know? bass. Oh, bass, he makes the bass talk. He makes the piano talk. Okay. Wow. And he makes the organ walk. Oh, all right, all right, all right. All right. Okay. Yeah, he, he's, all right. He, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a great musician. We're, we're going to interview him next after Yeah, I that. want you to interview yeah. him. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't want to miss that, and I, wanna, I don't want you to put it off. I feel impressed that you want, I want you to do it now. Okay, yes. all right. And, and God bless it, and God care. I'm just so glad y'all came down from Illinois to do me. Oh, oh. we are so I'm glad thrilled. that you, I was enough for you to think about that you would talk about. Well, and then I'll be in a regroup and I'll think of the, everything. Then it's kind of heavy on me right now. Well, yeah, we, yeah. we were wondering and, and we're honored by it, but as I said earlier, you know, literally there's thousands and thousands of people in yes. the industry or business yes. we are, though it's yes. ministry. Yes. Yes. And you haven't done any interviews for years, and when yeah, we got word that that you would do three ABN, we were Be very amazed. Glad. But we were so thankful. And it ain't too yet. They got to come. I got to regroup myself. Yeah. And get. I got a whole lot. To, see, I like to talk. <laughs> no. I love to talk. That's right. That's right. We love it. We love it. I love to talk. And my brother we, always tell me, "Bitch, shh." shh. No, 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 no. He loves to say, "Shh." <laughs> we we want to get you to the three yes. ABN studios. Yes. We'll bring a crowd because people love yes, hearing Lord. what you you've got to say, and they listen to you. Yes, Yvonne, you. But, but we ain't through. We're gonna take a break, and we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Are you love that or not? You know what? Uh, I have never seen that before. Me neither. That is so me hilarious. Neither. And I've done thousands of interviews. You've done lots of interviews. John and C.A., you ever had anybody do That's that? That's the first time I've seen no, you have a loss no. of words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't to know what to do. Control. <laughs> I just threw my hands up. But I loved it. Absolutely loved it. <laughs> and uh, it's, I'm, now I'm going to talk to the folks at home here. I said, uh oh, he took the break. I don't know. It's 20 minutes, whatever it was, into it and took a break. Maybe he needs to go to the bathroom or something, you know, so as soon as we stop, so I look at him, I say, uh, little Richard, you need to go? He said, no. I said, oh, you, you want to take a break? No. I said, oh, you don't <laughs> want to take a break? He said, no, I was just giving the people a rest at home. He said, I thought it's time they got a, a break, a minute, and then we'll come back and talk some more. <laughs> I'm ready to go. He was ready to go, so it, he just did it as a host, as a television person, yeah. as somebody who knows his audience. That's right. You don't get where he got without knowing your audience. That's true. So what That's he true. showed me was, I'm still in control. Yeah. You know, I know what I'm doing. This is the way to do it. And you know what? He's right. That's He's right. right. I loved it. So oh. when I called him, I said, I said, now the interview's done. We've got it edited. We're, we're ready to uh, to to show it. I said, I just got one bone to pick with you. I said, you showed us up, Yvonne and me, on the interview when you, when you took control. And he said, oh, I'm sorry. I said, no, don't be. We loved it. <laughs> Absolutely. And the people will love it because you're just being yourself. Right. And he's exactly. just being himself. You know what I loved with him was it was so interesting because <clears throat> I didn't know what to expect. Yeah. How was he going to look? Was he going to look like little Richard or was he going to look uh, transformed? I know you can attest to this. He looks transformed. Absolutely. He's he is a transformed man by the by the power of the Holy Spirit. We can mm -hmm. see the power of the Holy Spirit in his the life. Actions, yeah, yeah, and the way he looks. Yeah. I mean, he's he is just yeah. himself. Yeah. Didn't have on all the makeup, the all that other yeah. stuff. Just Didn't himself. Didn't worry about the big hair. And still handsome. Oh yeah, absolutely. Still handsome. And incredibly sharp. 
Oh, yeah. incredibly sharp. Yes. I mean, this guy's funny. brilliant. So oh, funny. funny. Oh, my Brilliant. word. Just it was yeah. I love talking to him yeah. because there's such a wealth of, of knowledge and history. Yeah, really. You know, he has all of that history behind him. And mm -hmm. then the spirituality, too. It was just it was so much. But fun. you know what? What hit me? And, and I'm looking at it from the uh, white person angle, right? Mm -hmm. What hit me was is because we hear about it. And we know about racism and prejudice and and back generations. Mm -hmm. But Richard lived in a time mm. when what he's saying and, and, and people say that they were public open about it and the, the, you know he, 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 he's talking about going to a theater and blacks in the, the oh, top yeah. and the, yeah. the, the whites and the the, about drinking at fountains and, and the whites only and, and all of this and you actually it was young enough, so mm -hmm. I'm not telling your age, but but you saw. <laughs> That's right. Lightning. It's dangerous. You're in the danger zone. Yeah, that, I don't. Maybe I shouldn't have gone quite there quite yet. I'll go back to Richard. Yeah. He'll, okay. Good. He'll good. understand. That's good. But the reality of someone who's lived through mm -hmm. all of this mm -hmm. still has a great attitude, mm. still loves the Lord, doesn't hate people. He could say, you know, some of us just hear about things and say, oh, we're upset about what. No, he lived through it. But you know what? All that's with him is past. Mm -hmm. He's just worried about today, our, his future, our future, those around him. He just wants to be a witness for Jesus. Amen. Yes. To me, that's, Amen. That's, that's, that's so great. And, and how he talks about his music was the prime draw. The thing that was interesting to me also, he said he didn't sing rock and roll because there was no such thing called rock and roll. <laughs> he said he just sang his music. Yeah. It later became, it, it received that title, rock and roll. Mm -hmm. Now he's on the rock that will not roll. All right, there you go. all right. So come on, Christ Jesus. And yes. that's what's so wonderful about this. He's talking about, and, and he deals with some topics that some people might say, wow, are we gonna, and, and when we did the interview, are we gonna keep that in? Are we yeah. gonna take that out? And I think that we made the choice to keep it in because people had to understand that the man that they're listening to now, and we have some more to show, mm -hmm. that the man that they're listening to now came through all of that. Mm. You know, we're living in a generation, I remember years ago, we all know Pastor, uh, some of our audience might know E.E. E. Cleveland, mm -hmm. a pioneer of the Adventist Church, resting mm -hmm. in Jesus now. He had the ability to tell you something, and like he'd say to us, he once, they looked, once he looked at me, he said, Loma King, shut up. <laughs> 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 he says, I, need, I want to tell you something. But he followed it, but he said, the Lord has an anointing on you. But he, had, he just said it in his own way yeah, when yeah. nobody else could get away with that but him. <laughs> and like, he, <laughs> quintessential E.E. Cleveland. I feel e. better now when people tell me, shut up. I feel better now. <laughs> quintessential E.E. E. Cleveland. This is quintessential Little Richard. Mm -hmm. You cannot trim his tree and expect to appreciate who he is, to come through what he came through, mm -hmm. to survive it, even, even to go through, um, like you talked about, uh, the, the first big check, mm -hmm. and then to know now that money is not the draw any longer, but eternal life is the draw. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm, I'm excited about that person that wants people to know, yeah, I've been through, I've been where you think you're gonna go. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of people today, even a lot of these modern singers that are famous, but they have not gotten to where he was. Mm -mm. You see? No. Or mm -mm. let me specifically, where he still is. Because he, still he is. could pick up that phone, as yeah. you said earlier, and call somebody and they'll know right away. Um, as we were down in Nashville, we had a chance to drive, drive around and look at some of the sites in Nashville. And you mentioned his name. It's like, yeah, I know exactly. No matter who they are, they could be from Nashville, from New York, from Boston, visiting out of the country. He's had a name, but now what I like about it, instead of his name, he's now leaning on his name. There you yeah. go. Mm. See, so that's who we're talking about today. Mm -hmm. The man who is the king of rock and roll, mm -hmm. but he's with the king who is the rock that will not roll. All right, yeah. Yeah. all right. Praise the Lord. Yes, you know, I was listening to the, the names he was dropping and, and your other names. Um, and one can be very impressed and very awed by that. But two things occurred to me. One, those are the circles in which he ran. Those are the people that he associated with. And God needs witnesses in those circles also. That's right. I could never get in that circle. Mm -hmm. I said, Lord, I couldn't mm -hmm. get in that circle, but he can. And so God will use people to get to places where we could not go, but the gospel needs to go to those individuals also. The gospel needs to, to, to infiltrate those circles. So he, he knows a lot of people, but isn't it nice now that he's on the Lord's team, that he lets God's light shine 
in those circles also, mm -hmm. so that they too get a chance to know about Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think about folks that we have singing at 3ABN, and lots of times I'll say, like Reggie and Lady Love, boy, aren't you glad they're on God's side and yes. not on the other side? Yes. And with, with little Richard, you, we can say, aren't, aren't we glad he's on God's side? Yes. And, and here's the thing. He's always had a good heart. He yes. always wanted to, to be a Christian. Mm -hmm. He always desired that. But again, the struggle, and it gives us each one of us hope mm -hmm. that no matter where we are, no matter where you are today, I want you to think about your own life for, for just a moment, no matter where you are. Uh, Lanny Wolf wrote a song years ago, and it talks about all the kingdoms. He says our heart is divided into little kingdoms. Mm. And sometimes we surrender all the kingdoms, but maybe one. Mm. But we really haven't surrendered to God. If let's say there's, you're divided into 10 kingdoms and you, mm. you keep one, right. have you really surrendered to God? Right. Mm. No, you really haven't. Because wow. you feel like you have and you've made such progress, so yeah. to speak, wow. and you talk differently and you do these things. But in reality, Light and dark doesn't mix. God is not the ruler. So mm. this song is, you know, until you give Jesus all the kingdoms of your heart, mm. you really haven't given it to him mm. because we try to work our way into heaven. Yes. We try to give away the books. We try to do, you know, and a lot of times I notice people that I deal with are most miserable. Mm -hmm. And if you don't act just like them or dress like them or look like them, well, you're not a good Christian. That's right. And I think to myself, Lord, you're the judge, That's but right. I have a feeling these people haven't surrendered everything yes. because they wouldn't be talking to you and acting like that. But that's the beauty of it. Little Richard now knows. I mean, show me a face that's more peaceful, than a person that has, a, has more peace in his life than what you're watching right here. Yes. Funny, happy, you know, and yet he goes through a lot of pain. I know that he does. He's yes. been, he was in an autom automobile accident mm -hmm. and there's things that still he, he suffers from. So life's not easy by any mm -hmm. means. Mm -hmm. And at his age, 84 years old, you know, it, it, everything's not easy. So this should give hope to all of us. And some of you watching, doesn't make any difference how old you are, uh, how young you are. God has something big in, in store for you. What Richard is doing now, giving his testimony, witnessing, is far greater than anything he ever did in the world. Mm -hmm. what, he, what Yvonne is doing with Dare to Dream here at 3 ABN is much bigger than those seven or eight golden oh, gold yeah. albums that she has at home. Uh, there, there's no comparison. No though, comparison. Right? There's no comparison. And you, you know that from watching, listening to Richard, that God has had his hand on him mm -hmm. the whole mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. He was in the struggle. Richard was in the struggle. But, but God had his hand on him and over time, that Holy Spirit just works on you, works on you, and woos you, and brings you totally to Him so that all the kingdoms of your heart are Absolutely. surrendered. Mm. And that's what you feel with Him, that He has surrendered all the kingdoms of His heart, and He's yes. given them to the Lord, yes. and He has peace, and He has joy. And even though you might have problems in this life, when you have Jesus, Mm -hmm. He carries you through. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we just feel that from, from Richard. Mm -hmm. We just feel Absolutely. that he is being carried. Absolutely. I want to say, too, before we close this hour, uh, Jesse that was on, his friend. Yes. Tell, us, tell the folk oh. uh, maybe about Jesse and his wife. Jesse and Boyce uh, and his wife, Azurin, were there in the audience. Jesse mm -hmm. Boyce was a wonderful friend to little Richard, who was his musician. bass player his pianist on some <laughs> things. He was, and, and Jesse, uh, um, well, Richard was saying that Jesse would make the guitar just talk. talk. Yeah. Uh -huh. He would make the guitar talk. And what a wonderful man of God. You could just see the peace in mm -hmm. Jesse's face and Azurin. They love the Lord. And Richard has been such a, a great influence yeah. in their lives, a spiritual influence. Mm -hmm. you know, Jesse was, I interviewed Jesse and Azurin for Dare to Dream, and we're going to be airing that soon. And Jesse was talking about how Richard had impacted his life spiritually mm -hmm. so much and how he, he learned about the Sabbath through Richard. Mm -hmm. So it, it, was, it was amazing. And Jesse is uh, yeah, he's he's resting in the just Lord. Just in the last couple weeks. Yes. You know, that he, 
we knew when we were there doing the interview that yes. he had cancer yes. and that he wasn't expected to live, but still what Jesus just shone, shined out of him. I mean, oh, just shone through him. So and beautiful. It, it was, and to see the peace that he had. And really that's all we, we all can look for is, is that peace that passeth all understanding. Absolutely. We won't find it till we really submit and commit our lives to Jesus. We got a minute left. John, you were wanting okay. to say yeah, something. Yeah. See no, it. I wanted to say because there might be someone who's sitting there saying, you know, they are foaming and frothing over little Richard and we are not. No. And I think it's important to know you can plug any number of names in there. You can plug in Manasseh. You can mm -hmm. plug in Nebuchadnezzar. What mm -hmm. we are highlighting is God's ability to reach down into a life, no matter how rich, no mm -hmm. matter how famous, and pull that life as a brand from the fire That's right. and use it as an mm -hmm. ensign for the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. So you can plug any name in. It's not about Little Richard per se. That's right. It's about God's ability to grab any life and turn that life into a tool in the hand of God for the salvation of the souls of men and women. So that's what makes this important mm -hmm. because as God has done it to him, God can do it for you. God can do it for anyone. No one is beyond the saving power of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Okay. Amen. Well, this next hour is going to be most of the hour of Little Richard. We're going to do it on two different interviews because I think he took another break, didn't he? He did. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like while we were talking, he said it's he time to, to take another break. But uh, so the most of this next hour, I want you to, during the break real quick, call your friends, everybody, and say, tune in because you are going to be tremendously blessed. So after the first uh, next section here, the interview, we're going to come back, talk for a few more minutes, then turn it over to Brother Richard. Don't go away, we'll be back in just a moment. Welcome back to 3ABN Today Live. And uh, we had a great first hour, didn't we? Oh, we did. He is so funny. I think he's trying to take your job. I know it. I don't <laughs> know what the, what's the deal on that. With brother, brother, little Richard, right? Yes. We call him brother, little Richard. Yeah. We're here with Pastor C.A. Murray, Pastor John Loma King. And uh, it, it was such a treat to go to the Nashville area and do this interview uh, with little Richard. And C.A., right at the end of the uh, the first hour, the top of the hour, you brought a, a really good point because we're saying little Richard this and little Richard. So we don't want people to think we're li li lifting up little Richard, but we're actually lifting up the Jesus in him now Absolutely. that we see. You notice we're not concentrating on all of his hit songs and all what he's saying and all what right. he did and all his lifestyle. We're, we're, we're not doing that because that's not what this program is all about. Mm -hmm. Richard went through all of that. Now it's his testimony. Right. If he wants to bring it up and talk about it, then that's his testimony. He can do it. We're not going to spend time. Oh, I like this song. I didn't like this one. I did whatever with this. We leave that up to him. But all right. I know is God has brought him through. Yes, Man. indeed. And, and he wants to bring you through. Yes. And is using him to bring others through. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Well, I guess without any farther ado, we're going to go to the next role and we'll just stay with you until Brother Richard says it's time to take a break <laughs> again. <laughs> we want to kind of start back when, when you were a child and what it was like growing up in Macon, Georgia <clears throat> and with your parents. What was life like for Richard Penniman before Little Richard? Well, as I stated, my dad was a bootlegger. He sold moonshine mm. whiskey. Back when I was a kid, it was so prejudiced, it was real hard. Mm -hmm. It was hard for you to do certain things. And, and you know, it, it was hard just to eat. Mm. You know, a lot of people, you know, you would go to people's house and there wasn't no furniture, they were sleeping on the floor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I remember when I was a boy, it was so cold. Wasn't no gas in the house. My mom would take a smoothing iron, which iron to iron with the heat, and she would wrap it up in a towel and put it in the foot of the bed to heat the bed. Uh -huh. That's how cold it would be. Mm. And that's when I know if she endured all of that for us, that God has to be a good God. Mm. 
Not only is he a good God, he's a merciful God. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we didn't have anything. She had 12 children. And, and the, 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 the counter would give you a big bag of beans. Mm -hmm. And that's what your grandmother would feed you, a big bag of rice. Mm -hmm. And when the bags get empty, they would take the, 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 the bags and make my sister dress out of the bag. Mm. That's the way we had to live. Mm. And I never knew I was going to be famous. Mm -hmm. You know, I never knew I was going to be famous. When did you know, when did you know you had musical abilities? Well, I, I was a little guy that stayed busy in other people's business and I didn't have no business in it. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and what I would do would, I, I, would um, I would go around to different places I would see a, a bus coming to make it with New York on the license plate. Okay. And I, I wanted to meet those people because I'd never been to New York. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I, I would go around, I would try to meet them. Then I would sell drinks at the, for Coca Cola's. They would give you a dime a bucket. Okay. To sell those drinks. And I would go and I would meet the entertainers. And I would tell them I want to be famous. But my favorite singer was Sister Rose Out of Thorpe. Oh, yeah. Okay. And she had made the guitar talk. Mm -hmm. and, and, and this black woman could play that guitar. Mm -hmm. And, and I, uh, I got a chance to go on the stage with her one night. Okay. And she said, we got a little boy here named Little Richard. And he said he could beat me singing. <laughs> and, you know, I, I was crazy to tell that woman to her face that I could beat her singing. <laughs> that was crazy. It worked. And, 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 and she, she had a big old purse around her waist. Full of money, but she had balled up the money, dollars, and put them in, and just packed. And she gave me two hands full of those. Wow! Oh. And, and 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 they were saying two little fishes and five loaves of bread. Okay. And then we sing strange things happening every day. Mm. And, and her mom was named Mother Cutty Ka Katie Bell. She was saying, 99 and a half won't do." <laughs> and, and, and all these songs. And, 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 you know, you, you just, you're poor. You, you ain't got nothing, and you can't ask nobody for nothing. You can't stop in a white restaurant and eat because you weren't allowed in there. Mm -hmm. Although you wash dishes in there, but yeah. you weren't allowed to eat in there. Right. right. Mm -hmm. Although you cook the meat that they're eating, but you weren't allowed to eat it. Yes. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. You know? Yes. That, that's where it was. Mm -mm -mm. And, but God was good. He let me live and brought me through it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, was your mom a Christian? Uh, at the time, I wouldn't say she was a Christian. She was a good woman, but what we call Christian today, she wasn't that. Mm -hmm. But she was a good person. She was a Baptist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We was a member of New Hope Baptist Church, and, and my grandmother was an AME, Methodist. And you had to go to their church and my mother's church. Mm -hmm. uh, else you can't go to the movies on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> See, and if you was black, you go upstairs in the theater. If you're white, you sit downstairs. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So you had a chance to see life pre-civil rights and post-civil rights. That's right. With segregation and then desegregation. That's right. Um, what role did your music play in the desegregation part? Well, my music got so popular. You've got to remember when I first started, black people wasn't screaming over me. Mm. White people was. Mm -hmm. They were screaming over me, and they were screaming over Fats Domino. Yeah, Chubby Chuck. They were Chuck screaming or... over Chuck Berry, <laughs> and, and they were screaming over uh, 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 Hank Ballard and the Midnighters, yeah. uh, and a, a man called Louis Jordan and the yeah. Timothy Five. He, yeah. he, he, uh, uh, they were screaming over him, you mm -hmm. know. But but uh, the black people, in order to, to to move black people, you got to be in what they call the groove. Uh -huh. Okay. You got, you got, you got to really <laughs> feel the rhythm. That's what Jesse. Jesse is a rhythm master. Yeah. He can, okay. he can go in so many tempos in music, mm -hmm. and, and see everybody don't have that gift. And see, uh, with black people, you got to be in that. If you ain't got that, they don't care for it. Mm. Mm. With white people, a lot of times they off beat anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they, they, uh, are you singing or something? And they, they pan their feet. The music going boom. They pan their feet boom over here, you know. 
<laughs> and so, but not all of them. Some of them, some of them had to be. But the ones I know didn't have to be. <laughs> uh, 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 so what, what, what they did was, they, they, uh, uh, um, they kept on there. And when I started getting more and more popular, they started really supporting me. Mm. Mm. And some of the songs I sung, black people didn't care for. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, they like the tutti fruity because you know, wop, bop, a loo, bop, a lop, bam, right. boom. You right, know? Yeah. Uh, right. They liked yeah. it that. Yeah. And, and, uh, but uh, a lot of the things they didn't, they didn't care for. You know? Now, now your, your, your city, when you were young, mm -hmm. you're making, mm -hmm. you kind of got asked to leave town, didn't you? Oh, yes. The police uh, uh, came to me, and uh, I, I, I was at home on Fifth Avenue, and they told me, said, we got to lock you up. Oh. I said, for what? Well, you, you have a white woman in your car. Mm -mm -mm. I said, no, I don't. They said, we heard that you do. Mm -hmm. So they went downtown to make it, and when they locked you up, they put you up under the clock. It was the clock at the jail. Okay. And you would hear the air time the ring, you would hear bam, mm -hmm. bam. And, and so it was a judge, that's so what they told the judge, said, Your Honor, Said, this nigga here is going to leave town, and he ain't going to ever come back. I said, they're right, Your Honor, when I leave, I ain't coming back here no more. <laughs> I said, they're right about that. I said, when I leave here, I will not come back here again. I said, I just want to get out of here. Yeah. And I got out of there, and I went to Atlanta, Georgia, my auntie, and I went to Cleveland, my other auntie, and, and uh, uh, um, I, all during my real big fame, I never, I wouldn't go there. Yeah. James Brown, I had brought him there and got him famous. He would come, but I wouldn't go because okay. they had told me to get out. And That's I, right. I, I didn't go back to the fame had died down. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And now yeah. they don't name the street south of me and everything they, they named them. The Little Richards Boulevard downtown. Yeah. Go right to uh, Mercer University. It, and so Mercer University gave me a, a Ph. Uh, I have a doctorate degree oh, okay. from Mercer University. Oh. Yeah. I wonder if you ever got to go back and see the judge and the, the guy who locked you I, up. I think he's dead. I wish I could. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's gone on in. Uh, 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 uh. I, I would like to show him that I'm Dr. Little Richard. Yeah, there, you go. there you go. So, yeah. Brother Richard, how did you get into mm -hmm. you you sang with sister rosetta thorpe yes Tharp, i did yeah and then how did you transition into the whole rock and roll realm well um be, be true, i really didn't know i was singing rock and roll okay because back in that time it wasn't no such thing as rock and roll yeah. it was rhythm and blues right that's right and see when i was a boy black people were singing country music Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. The blues? The yeah, blues, kind of one of the, the white people singing, it was black people singing it. Mm. Mm. And you know, you would hear them singing uh, 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 um, all kind of beautiful songs, like the song I was singing with you yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, one day one at a time, time yeah. sweet Jesus, yeah. that's all I'm asking mm. from you. That's yeah. a good song. Give me the strength mm. to do every day. What I have to do. Yes, yes. Yesterday mm -hmm. gone, sweet mm -hmm. Jesus. You know? All right. Yeah. We we about we and about got your little background group never here going. Be mine. Show me the way. Give Let me today. One, one day at a time. Okay. All right. <laughs> And, and I, I, I really loved it. Forgive me that I was off time a little bit. But I'm right. I'm right. You, you, you was the one keeping it together because I wasn't. <laughs> we, we, we never did sing that, did we, Jesse? Yes, we did. We did? Oh, huh. Okay. So, 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 Little Richard, you, you did rock and roll, but you did some gospel songs. But I want to tell you something that you didn't know. Now, mm -hmm. not too many people can tell Little Richard, something that he didn't already know about himself. Mm -hmm. But last night I put on Facebook uh -huh. that we were going to be interviewing Little Richard. Mm -hmm. A woman wrote to me on Facebook and she said, 1989 or 90, I was just walking down, basically aimlessly down the streets of L.A., just walking, and a car pulled over, the window rolled down, 
and I couldn't believe my eyes, little Richard was there, and he said, I have something for you. Didn't know the woman from Eve, wow. mm -hmm. handed a book, Peace Above the Storm. She still has the book. You wow. gave it to her. It changed her life. She's now a Seventh-day Adventist Christian Amen. all these years later. Now, the, now, how many books when I'm thinking about, because I talked to you once with Wentley Phipps 25, mm. 28 years ago, and you mm. said one concert, you'd hand out 25,000 books. Uh -huh. How many people, Yvonne, will be in heaven yes. that he doesn't know right now That's right. that will say, Little Richard, back in the 80s or 90s or 2000, you handed me a book yes. when no one else did. Mm. He goes up and down the streets of Nashville, Tennessee, mm -hmm. passing out books. Yeah, I do it every day. Now, why do you do that? I just, it's just, it's something within. I feel that if I don't do it, the Lord, you know, I, I, I'd be going down the streets and I have one chauffeur that really not for it. And I, I said, stop, stop. He said, man, leave that man alone. He's a homeless man. He said, I said, I said, you know what? That may be Jesus standing over there. Uh-oh, okay. I said, maybe, I said, I got to give him a book. Okay. Hmm. And I, I give that man a book, and I do it every day because I feel that God wants me to do it, that the world is getting ready to end, and Jesus wants me to pass out these books to let people know they got time now to get ready. So come on. Now, yes, now, yes. And that's it. now what book would be so good that for 40 years you continue to pass it out? It's a book called Steps, Steps to, to Christ. Christ. That's Who's the book. it written by? Ellen G. White. Ellen G. White. And that book, for 40 years, times have changed, but the message in that book hasn't changed. No, it's still the same. Still the same. And it's still alive, and it's the truth. And it's mm. the truth. And it's still changing people's lives. That's right. Every after day. all these years. Every that is day. I think all of our viewers, you're watching this, you've never heard of that book. You can look it up. In fact, you could order it. We'd give it to you free at 3ABN. If you write to us, we'll put up our address later on. Steps to Christ. It was good enough for little Richard, and he's literally put hundreds of thousands out to people, giving mm -hmm. them away. I think it's maybe something you and me ought to read and find out about. If it means that much to this man, uh, I think a lot of folk are going to want to read this book. Yes, and, and I want y'all to ask me some more questions. Yeah, All right. we'll ask you some more. We're, we're getting to it right now. So, yeah. so let's go back to, again, yeah. how you transitioned, because see, what... It's so obvious, Brother Richard, that God has had his hand on you mm. through your whole life, that yes. even though you strayed away, yes. he reeled you back in. Yes. So we want to kind of see what life was like before you knew God and then how God has changed your life. So, yes. so how did you um, get into the whole, you, you had started uh, out talking about, it wasn't rock and roll then, mm. it was country music. Rhythm and so, blues. So rhythm you started blues singing rhythm and, and blues. Country, yes. How did you um, get before audiences? Yeah, well, what that? happened is I used to listen at a station from Nashville late at night called WLAC. Yeah. Okay. okay. Out of Nashville. And, and, and I would hear all these blues and all these boogie woogie piano players mm -hmm. and, and late at night it sound good <laughs> you know and and, 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 and and I said oh boy if I would get a chance to do that and, and, and if I would get a chance to do this and, and then the rhythm and blues people like Sonny Boy Williamson Muddy Waters mm -hmm. John Lee Hooker mm -hmm. Elmo James mm -hmm. and, and, and Guitar Slim mm -hmm. Uh, 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 um, fat Stomino, mm -hmm. and 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 uh, 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 um, another one by the name. What is this other guy named? Larry Donnell, um, Big Maybell, okay, okay. Uh, uh, Willie Mae Thornton, yeah. she had rode Hound Dog, ah. and Gabe My Brown. <laughs> and and he, he had a brother named Widemouth. <laughs> she, she, his name was Gate Mouth. And Might be related was, to me. They call me Big Mouth. But anyway. <laughs> no, but they, his brother was called Widemouth. <laughs> and then he had another brother they called No Mouth. No. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it was three of them. 
<laughs> it, it was it was three of them, and they they uh, they what they did was and they, but he could make a guitar talk because mm. the famous guitar player was back in the time was called T Bone Walker. Okay, he was black, and, and he makes a guitar talk. Mm -hmm. and, and then uh, uh, they had uh, 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 what's his name Holland Wolf. Okay, Holland Wolf. And, 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 and Roscoe Gordon. Okay. Uh, that was before uh, Al Green and all. That was way back before that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and these people, they, they, they could make guitars talk, but they wasn't making no money. Uh -huh. you know, they were singing. <laughs> but you know, I was singing in the club and I would get $15. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, uh, but you was glad to get that because you didn't have nothing. Right, yeah. right. You know? Were you playing piano at that time? Too? No. Okay. Uh, I, I was learning how. Uh, I, what I would do, I was copying, and and, and everybody would play. I watch their hands, and and and, and then I, I met a, 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 a lady named Georgia White. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she was a booger. They called them booger woogie piano players. Yeah. But you know, in order to play booger woogie, you got to be fast. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Them some really good piano players that play the boogie yeah. woogie. Mm -hmm. you, some people said they ain't nothing. Yes, they are. Play what she played. Play yeah. that. <laughs> right, right. You, you can't find nobody that can play it. <laughs> Somebody told me Jerry Lee Lewis copied you. No, no, no. Jerry no? Lee Lewis, that's my buddy. Did he copy you? Oh, Jerry, if you hear me, how you doing, boy? <laughs> come on to Jesus. Get the steps of Christ I there gave you. There you go. And come on to the Lord, boy. That's right. There you go. Jerry, he do that. Don't forget now. That's and tell right. Alabama to do it, too. That's right. <laughs> okay. That's good. That's good. <laughs> yes. But he has the same style, a oh, lot of that no, music. No, Jerry, he has his own style. Yeah. Jerry, he can play. Yeah, he can. Jerry, he can make a piano talk yeah. and walk. <laughs> what is it about you, though, there's thousands, and there have been, yay, hundreds of thousands, but a few people get to where you were. What is it that we're trying to get to about Little Richard, your singing? It wasn't just your singing. It wasn't just your playing. It was your persona. Mm -hmm. It was your joy yeah. that people saw that you made them happy yes. that took you into a realm that yes. very few people on yes. planet Earth ever go to. That's right. I mean, that's amazing. I told her this morning, I mm. said, you know, very few people on planet Earth, mm. if, if, if little Richard mm. dials somebody's phone number, mm. there's nobody on Earth that wouldn't answer it. Mm -hmm. right. I don't care if it's President of the United States yes. or President of Africa, yes. or if it's a movie star, yes. you name a movie star, yes. rock stars, they're yeah. gonna answer. Yeah, you don't we, realize we, how few people on planet Earth, but also, that great privilege turns into great responsibility yes, for you, yes, doesn't yes, it? And yes, you sense that, yes. and that's why you want to share Jesus yes, with right. everybody. Yes, I want to show the world that I know a man. Come on now. That created everything. All right. I know a man. Come on. That gave his life. Yes. That I may have a right to the tree of life. Yes. Okay. I know a man that was willing to give his life that didn't have to give it. Mm. What people got to realize, if Jesus had not given his life, he would still be Jesus. Okay. Mm -hmm. He would still be the King of kings mm -hmm. and the Lord of lords. Mm -hmm. He did this because he wanted to do it. Right. He wanted to see you, me, you, and you, and you in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And by giving his precious blood, he gave us a right to the tree of life. Yes. Yeah. And that we can enter in through the gates into the city. The city of God. That's right. Yeah. And it's a wonderful thing mm. to know Jesus. Yes, mm -hmm. indeed. He is a wonderful thing. And, and he, was, he was willing to die. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was willing to give it up for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I want you to know that you got a chance to live for him, to show him that you're thankful and you appreciate that he gave his life for you mm -hmm. and that he resurrected for you. That's really when he came out of Joseph's tomb, he says, I am the resurrection. All right. I am the life. Mm. All power is given unto me Amen. in heaven and in earth. That's That's right. Right. I got the keys of hell and death. Yes. That's right. And he has them to this day. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you have a right to the tree of life. Don't let it pass you by. That's mm. right. That's Don't right. Don't let That's it right. pass you That's by. That's right. I don't That's care good. what color you are. Don't let it pass you by. That's right. I don't care if you're rich or poor. 
don't let it pass you by. Right. Ain't nothing like Jesus. That's right. Amen. Brother Richard, how did you come to know Jesus? Because you, you obviously have a relationship with him now. How did you come to know him? Well, what happened is so many churches, so many preachers are teaching so many different things. Mm. And most all of them are lies. Wow. Mm. They're teaching people that you don't have to do this. You don't have to keep the commandments. Mm, mm, mm. You don't have to eat like this. Mm. You don't have to dress like this. Wow. Because people want to go to heaven, but they don't want to give up nothing. Come uh -oh. on, brother. Okay. Come on now. They don't want to give up nothing. Okay. They want everything, but they don't want to give up nothing. Come mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. And in order to see Jesus, in order to go, you got to give up something. Because mm. okay. he's going to give you a new walk, a new talk, Come okay. a new life. Yes, sir. Wow. You understand me? Yes, sir. And, and if any doctor, anybody tell you about don't nobody know the date that you're going to die but Jesus. That's, That's right. right. Nobody know when you're going to leave but Jesus. And if your faith is strong mm. in Jesus, hold on, hold on. Okay. Hold on, mm -hmm. because that's the right power. Mm -hmm. That's the right way. That's the right day. Jesus is the answer. Mm -hmm. And if you got Jesus, you got everything. That's right. That's right. Ain't nothing too hard for God. Amen. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Ain't nothing. I'd rather have Jesus than silver, silver gold. gold. Yes, I'd on. rather be here than yes. to have riches, riches untold. untold. Yeah. I'd rather have Jesus yeah. than houses of land. land. Yes. I'd rather be true to his holy yeah. name. Yeah. He's a Amen. mighty God. Yes, Amen. sir. He's a wonderful Savior. How do you answer people, though? You, you brought this up about churches. They teach things that's not true. Yes. How do you answer? Because it's very popular today that people say, well, you don't have to keep the commandments of God. They've been, they were nailed to the cross. Nailed to the cross. So what you just said, you, you need to keep the commandments of God. Yes. But it's, I mean, millions of people are being taught, you don't have to keep those commandments of God. They're nailed to the cross. Because you could tell us a lie. Mm. See, when Jesus died, the only thing that was nailed to the cross was Jesus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, that's the only thing we knelt to the cross. Mm -hmm. The commandments of God, he died because you had broke the commandments. Mm -hmm. He died because you're supposed to keep the commandments. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. The commandments is God's rule of life. Mm -hmm. It's his way of showing you what is right and what is wrong. Mm -hmm. The commandments of God, the Bible says they're holy, they're just, and they're good. Mm -hmm. And they're righteous. Mm -hmm. And if you love God, you don't mind keeping them. All of them? Yeah. Yeah, all ten of them. All ten. But if you keep one and offend at one point, you're guilty of all of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you don't have to live like that. Wow. And it's not hard to live with, but with the commandments. Mm -hmm. It's not hard to keep God's word. So you not only are He asking you to keep them, but He's going to help you keep them. That's yeah. right. But you, so you honor like the fourth one, most people keep them all, but the fourth one says, remember the Sabbath day to keep hold. Do you worship the Lord on the seventh day Sabbath? I worship God on Saturday that yeah. most people use to get drunk on. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's the day that everybody get drunk and, and do that, that dirt. And, and you think that's important that that day is not that just day any is, day? That day is very important. Mm. Jesus wants you to keep the Sabbath holy. Remember the Sabbath to keep it holy. Six days shall thy labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Mm -hmm. In it mm -hmm. thou shalt not do any work. Thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. Mm. Why? Because in six days, come on, come on. The Lord made heaven and earth, That's right. the okay. sea and all that in them is, mm -hmm. wow. and rested on the seventh day. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, the Lord blessed the seventh day and keep it holy. Mm -hmm. yes. And He sanctified that day. Wow. And that day is meant for all of us. It's the seventh day. It's the Sabbath of God, 
And we keep the day that God didn't tell us to keep. Wow. We keep it because a group of people got together and changed it. And it's, they said that this show that we have power because mm. we changed that day around. Mm-hmm. 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 So AD 321. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. This group actually changed yes. or attempted to change. That's the yeah, good yeah, part. That, that's nobody it. can change no, God's nobody law. Can, but, but they, they tried. attempted. And it, so today there are many, many groups who follow what this particular group. That's right. And they say that, well, Sunday's the day of worship. Yes. But that's not the day that God set up. No, it's not the day that God set up. And, and see, it's popular and everybody's doing it. Yeah. But the Sabbath is the day, the seventh day. Yeah. Then God said, remember that. And when he said, remember, because he saw that you're going to forget it. That's oh, right. Okay. He was going to keep it out of you, and he wants you to remember and yeah. do it and keep it a part of you. Okay. That's right. That's yeah. right. There's some spiritual vigilantes, as in the book that Danny wrote. Mm-hmm. Spiritual vigilantes, people who take, try to take God's law into their own hands mm-hmm. and change it. Oh my and God. God's law cannot be changed. No, it can't be changed. Mm-hmm. But, but see... The reason it can't be changed, ladies and gentlemen, is a transcript of his character. That's okay. right. Wow. That's right. That's the reason you can't change it. That's right. Okay. It's holy, just, and it's good. Mm-hmm. Isn't that wonderful? Mm-hmm. Yeah. A transcript of his. Thank you for bringing that to me, Jesus. Yes. yes. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, so again, Brother Richard, how did you come to know Jesus for yourself? Who, who, who kind of led you into that, this whole spiritual path? Did you just read about it yourself? Uh, Somebody well, teach no, you? No, when I was a boy, my mama had a stack of books laying down. She, the Desire of Ages, ah, The Great Controversy, okay. and okay. the call Porter had been by. Ah. And, and she had got some books on credit where you pay so much every yeah, month. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and, and, and I liked the book because they had pictures of the angels. That's when I liked it. Okay. And, and my brother's mother's brother was a Seventh-day Adventist minister. Oh, oh, okay. And he had met a girl who was in the army, and she was an Adventist. She brought him in. And then uh, 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 um, by doing that and, and by reading and studying and all, you wanted to be that. You wanted to be like that because you saw how... You know, when, when, you, when you read about what Jesus gave up for us and what he's going to give us, eternal life, mm-hmm. that's something to think about. Absolutely. No more dying, no more sickness, yes. no more poor, scuffling people. You got trees with everything that you want on it. Mm-hmm. You're living in a mansion like you've never seen in this world. Mm-hmm. And you're able to go to other planets and see your brothers and your sisters. Yes. Oh, God, I really want that. So what you're saying is, with all the wealth that you've had, with Mm. all the homes and the fame and Mm. the money and the the prestige, all of that, none of that compares to what God has for you. When I read about people talking about reading the lottery, I said, Forget about the lottery. Jesus is going to give you eternal life. (laughs) The lottery ain't going to even be here. That's right. That's right. He's going to give you eternal life. No more death, no more dying, no more sickness. Yes. What more do you want? Yes. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank Mm -hmm. you, Lord. Yes. What more do you want? If you had it all to do over again, your life, is there anything in particular that you would change? If I had all of to do all over again, I would be Little Richard the preacher. Wow. Mm. Little Richard the messenger from Jesus. I would teach people to get. I wouldn't want to preach in church. I wouldn't want to preach on street corners downtown. Mm. I want to stand out on the corners. Mm. I believe that's what's going to happen before Jesus comes. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to stand on the corners. You're going to stand out in park that's going to preach it. Mm-mm-mm. And that's what I want to do. I love yeah. that. Yeah. Well, we found out today you are Little Richard the Preacher. That's yes. right. You are that's already. Right. You're that's already. right. That's right. But I love Jesus. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that I ain't thought of that I'm going to have to think of along. I, I must tell it. Yes. Wow. And, and, and we'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
I sure hope they're having as much fun as we are. I know it. <laughs> I'm loving this. I'm learning loving so much. Yes, mm -hmm. for sure. Lear learning so much. It's interesting that he came from such a large family. Absolutely. And, and, and poor. And, and, pov down. and poverty stricken. Yeah, it was just, yeah. It, it's amazing how he was able to navigate through that whole, through all of that dis disadvantage mm -hmm. and become Little Richard. But you know, he said something very important. Uh, the Bible talks about it. It says, where there's no vision, you mm. know, the people perish. Mm -hmm. right. He had a vision even as a little boy. Mm -hmm. You ask him about himself and what did he say? I was a busy little guy. Yeah. Then he said I was in everybody, <laughs> everybody else's business. Else business. <laughs> but then, then he said every time somebody came to town, entertainers, he followed the bus because he right. had been there. So what he did, he had a vision that he wanted mm -hmm. to go somewhere. Hmm. It navigated a long time. The children of Israel went 40 years, John. That's right. But they, they did make it, many of those, to the, to the promised land. Richard, Richard's making it through with God's help. Mm -hmm. That's right. And you know, how the journey ends is more pertinent than how the journey begins. Oh, he that endures okay. to That's the good. end. Mm. And you find in the Bible, uh, we don't know who the thief on the cross was. Mm. We just know who he's going to be. Mm. Oh, okay. We just know who he became at that pivotal moment. Mm -hmm. And everyone has a pivotal moment in their lives that when the voice of God comes and becomes so overwhelming that you have to respond. Mm -hmm. And that's what I like about it. Brother Richard, I like to call him Brother Richard. Yeah, uh, sure. Little Richard known very worldwide. He responded. And what he said when, we, when he finally acquiesced to do the interview, he said, anything for the Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything for the Lord. I love the Lord. I love Jesus. And and, and uh, he said, I just want to be ready when he comes and I want everybody else to be ready. So praise God, mm -hmm. that's the life that's going to matter when the trumpet sounds. Let's talk for mm -hmm. just a moment about Peyton. Yes. His, Brother Peyton, what, what a wonderful man. And, and you first met him and then we were able to talk to him. Yeah. Humble. Tell us a little more about Peyton. Peyton is a caring man. He, he his brother Richard raised him. They traveled together. He was a part of the inner entourage. Uh, he would care for his brother, make sure that he had everything he needed, but he's very comfortable being in the background. Mm -hmm. He's not the kind of guy that will want to be in front of the camera. A very humble individual himself, and a lot of who he is today was shaped by the life that little Richard and the places they went together mm -hmm. and the people they met together. And so, mm -hmm. a, but a very private man, but I, what I like about him, he's a very Christian individual, mm -hmm. very Christian, very connected to the Lord. We prayed a number of times together and, um, and, and the strength of their both relationships while they are where they are now is they have seen the other side. They've mm -hmm. been in the best places. They've been in the wealthiest of hotels. They've been in the, you know, the, in the presence of dignitaries and presidents and they have been on the stage. Mm -hmm. But all those places they've been, there are seeds, even during the concerts, I think that uh, the, the concerts, I think was a part of his agreement that I'll do this concert, but I'm gonna pass out step to Christ. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and even though he was p playing both sides of the coin, you cannot take away the power of steps to Christ. That's right. Yeah, that's you cannot true. take away the power of the great controversy. That's right. Those are seeds that are planted like, the, like years ago. If the Lord can talk to Balaam with a donkey, yeah. he could use a tree or a rock to get his <laughs> message out. He <laughs> uses good. us even at our weakest point, his yeah. strength is made perfect in Very our true. weakness. Very true. So, but now, He's strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. And yes. Peyton's that kind of man. Absolutely. Doesn't want the spotlight, doesn't want the interview, doesn't want to be out front. He just wants to be there for his brother and be there for the Lord. And, and it shows all the time. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, with That's that, great. I think we have one more oh, good. Uh, section of this. And uh, I think we're ending this time. We've had our couple of breaks. He, he pointed <laughs> us to when the breaks. So we've had those. He did. But uh, let's go finish this interview. You, you are synonymous with dress and with clothing. I mean, when people watch Little Richard, they love not only what Little Richard sang, how he sang, how he played, getting on top of the piano. You may do no matter what, but they love to see what you were wearing because right. you kept them, you kept people guessing. Okay, what I want to do is I want to ask you, could I flip you a coin for those shoes? <laughs> Could I flip you a coin for those shoes to see who gets those shoes? I wonder what I'd look like he in those, those shoes. shoes. If you put on these shoes. I wonder, would that make me keep time and dance that, better? That, 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 
I, I, if you put on these shoes, like I said, a lot of men beating you down the street with the shoes. <laughs> yeah, but see, I, I got the cowboy boots yeah, on. Yeah, you got on what you really I'm need. A, I'll just you keep. The, you got the real thing on. Keep them. All right, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just keep these on. <laughs> these, these things won't even look right on you. All right. Yeah, so yeah. where did he get that from? Yeah, that, uh, was that also, part of your? Uh, yeah, yeah. I had two tailors that traveled with me. Yeah. Now, why yeah. did you do that? Was that just part of your persona? It was, it was part of me. Yeah. And you know, back in there was Josephine Baker. Yeah. Oh yeah. And, and out of St. Louis, Missouri, and yeah. it, and it just, it just you know, I just wanted to be flashy and, and fancy. Yeah. And, and just, because you could. And, and dress, wear some pretty stuff. Yeah. Tell us about some of the folk that, 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 you, that you knew. Did you, you said you liked country music. Yeah. Because for some of us, we think, man, Little Richard is not, we don't think about him with country music. No. But you're saying a lot of the, the, er, the older black folk did country music. That's and, all and, I heard from black and, people. And, and, walking down the middle of the streets, playing guitar, not electric, as regular, and the guitars be talking. Yeah. Do -do 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 -do. yeah. <laughs> Okay, doing doing all the moves. Today, though, you have a number of friends in the country music, yeah, like who? Yeah, Dolly yeah. Parton? Oh, Dolly's a good old friend of mine, Loretta mm -hmm. Lynn, uh, Toby Keith. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 um, um, so mm -hmm. many of them. Tom Jones. Oh, Tom Jones is a very, he just called me. I just talked to him about, about three weeks ago. He's yeah. going to do, he want me to record Footprints of Jesus with him. Really? Right. Wow. Yeah. Tom right. Jones. Yeah. That's right. wonderful. Yes. Are you going to do it? Yes. All right. We have to get him to 3ABN to do yes. that now. I got so to yeah. chew on some ginger so to clear my voice. Clear your voice. Let's get yeah. that on 3ABN. We'll, yeah. we'll get yeah. people around the world watching that. Yes, yes. That'll, that'll, be, that'll yes. be great. So, Absolutely. Brother Richard, when you first came into the church, um, what kind of adjustments did you have to make coming into the church, leaving, well, you kind of still stayed out there singing, but you were in the church. How did you, how did you adjust to coming well, into the church? Well, it was hard. First of all, I wasn't used to dressing a certain way. Mm. I, 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 wasn't, I, was used to, I wasn't used to wearing plain clothes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, like mm -hmm. everything was flashy. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, and I wasn't wearing it to outdo nobody, but just the way I dressed. Yes. Uh, and I used to wear makeup on my face every day. Uh, I wore it on my face every every day, and and uh, um, uh, I had to stop all of that if I wanted to be saved. Mm. Yeah. And, mm. and I think my life was worth more than powder. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and, and you know I can't see how men people are screaming how men. Where they called there, they said this is in there, but everybody wearing earrings and nobody saying nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh uh. Everybody got an earring on the ear. Have mercy. And back in the day, if I had a water earring, it would have been the talk of the world. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Things yeah. have changed yeah. so yes, much. Yes, it is. But it's accepted now. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You see men wearing mascara yeah. and, and women's. In fact, women's clothes nowadays. Mm -hmm. Let me ask somebody that's your age. You already said you're 84 years old. Mm -hmm. What do you think when you see somebody in a dress, about six foot three, in a dress and a wig and uh, a women's makeup on, and they got a voice lower than Wentley Phipps? Mm -hmm. I mean, how do you adjust to that? Because in your, your, your era, mm -hmm. nobody would come out and say, Hey, this is me, and I'm proud of it. What mm. do you think about it? Is that shocking to you to see people? Well, well, I never seen nobody six feet four and all that <laughs> with no with no makeup and no wigs and no dresses. Uh, 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 it's just um, uh, uh, it's just it's it's this hard thing for a real man to want to wear. A real man won't wear no dress. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. He won't feel right with that type of tie on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not yeah. a real man. But they're accepting that today. There's people all over. I mean, you see it. They wind it everywhere. Yeah. And, 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 and ain't nothing strange about them. It's just a part of their life now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and it, it's acceptable. It's acceptable. Yeah. You think that's acceptable to God or is that something no, I should ask No, I don't you? believe God accepted. I don't believe that accepted yeah. to God. Yeah, he made man I believe that God woman. made. The Lord tells us in the Bible that, that uh, a, a man shouldn't wear that. You know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a woman shouldn't wear his. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's in the Bible. I had somebody the other day. They call themselves millennials, a young K 
kids. He said, there's not just two genders, man and woman. They've discovered there's 109. Huh? 109 genders of people, because now you can decide what you are. You're no longer necessarily a man or a woman. You just decide what you feel like you are today, and you can be that. You think that's truth? Or you I ain't think never that, heard that. that well, that, that sound like a lie of the devil, doesn't it? That, 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 oh, my God. Yeah. That way you can, nobody can judge you. They said, nobody can judge me. Today I might wear women's clothes. Tomorrow I may wear farmer's clothes. Uh, uh, the uh, next that, that, day that I thing wear... with the, the gender going to the bathroom, you know, uh, I don't think that a woman should go in a man's bathroom. I don't think a man should go in a woman's bathroom. Absolutely. Not because they are nothing in this, but just, it's just right to do it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. interesting times in which we're living. You're right when you say Jesus is coming soon because yes. we're seeing things. I know you're seeing things you yeah. never thought you would see possible. Never, never. But the good part is God is also giving technology to people like 3ABN that mm. we can sit here in this little church mm. and people around the world can watch and hear your testimony. Yes. Though they've watched you for so many years, yes. they see little Richard as totally committed sold out to yeah, God, you're yeah, not ashamed of yeah, it, you don't care ashamed. who you talk to, you yes. don't care if it's anybody in the world, you're yes. going to tell them there's only one way to heaven, yeah, and that's, that's through Jesus and, Christ. And I, I don't call nobody no name because they go into a woman's bathroom, or go into a lady's, I, I don't put no titles on nobody, I don't call nobody nothing, I just say they do it, I just said that when I was a boy, we had to respect that not to go into the women's restroom. Yeah. And we had to respect not to go into the men's bathroom. That's where it was. Mm -hmm. Things was like that. Now it's different. Mm -hmm. You know, people have their own thing in mind, their own setup. I can't tell nobody what to do, and I'm not telling nobody what to do. And I love mm -hmm. you. I don't, I don't care what you are, or where you're from, or who you are, what color. That's I right. love you. Mm -hmm. yeah. And God loves you too. And don't mm -hmm. you forget that. Absolutely. Yes, yes, that's for that's sure. wonderful. And that is. The, the, the commission of every one of us, yes, go right. ye into all the world. And teach the gospel. And teach the gospel, and that means to love everybody regardless. As, as they are. Yeah, mm. as, as they, they are. are. And what the other is. You know, it's interesting to me, Brother Richard, that for a while you had a foot in both worlds. That's right. So you had, your, you had one foot in the world still singing that music yes. that wasn't leading people to God. But That's then, right. on the other hand, you were passing out the books That's and right. doing all of that. Yes. At what point did you realize that I can't be in both worlds? Mm -hmm. What happened to you that you realized Well, that? what made me figure, the Lord showed me that, that you got to do one or the other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It says, no man can serve two masters. Mm -hmm. For they either will love one or hate the other, they will hold on to one and despise the other. Mm -hmm. You can't do both. Mm -hmm. If you're going to serve me, serve me. If you're going to do this, do that. But in order to be my child, you got to give it all to me. I don't want half of it, I want all of you. Mm -hmm. I want to direct you and keep you, and I want to sanctify your life. I want to cover you with the righteousness and holiness. Mm. And if you live for me and keep my commandments and do what my spirit show you how to do, I will guide you and keep you and lead you all the way. Yes, mm. yes. We're going to close this part of the interview down, but I want you to do something. And I want you maybe to look into this camera. And there are people there who are hurting. Mm. There are people who feel like there's no hope for them. They're so miserable with their life. Some of these folk are Christians. That's mm -hmm. why they're watching this Christian network. Mm -hmm. But inside, they don't have peace. Mm -hmm. What would you tell these folk? What would little Richard, at this point in your life, if you could look in into a lost and dying world, what advice would you give them? I've tried everything. Mm. Mm. And I'm sure that you've tried everything. Mm. But you ain't tried nothing till you try Jesus. Mm -hmm. He will show you the way because he is the way. Mm -hmm. It able one way and that way is Jesus. He would give you eternal life. He would give you peace and serenity in this world here and go give you eternal life in the world to come. Mm. Make up your mind. 
You don't care what your friends say about you, what they think about you. Make up your mind to give everything to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Let Jesus live in you. Let him walk in you. Let him show you the right way. And let him let you know that he can keep you from falling. Mm -hmm. To present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding mm -hmm. joy. Yes. Don't yes. forget that. He loves you, brothers and sisters. And we ain't got long before we're going home. Mm -hmm. I know you want to go home. You're tired. You're a pilgrim in a strange land. Mm -hmm. You want to go home. Jesus want to take you home. He want to give you that peace that passes all understanding. He going to give you that joy that nobody can give but him. Yes. Oh, try Jesus. Mm -hmm. Oh, try Jesus. Yes. That's everything. That's all of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, my brothers, my sisters, try him. Give it to him. It's not for sale. <laughs> it's a gift from a holy, righteous God. Mm -hmm. And I want to let you know that you'll be so glad. You'll be so glad that you did. Mm -hmm. And Jesus is waiting because he wants you to come. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. he's saving this gift for you, for me, for you, and for you, and for you, all of us. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for listening to the wonderful message from Jesus. Mm. Try him. Thank you so much for trying him. All right. Mm -hmm. Why don't we do a, a closing prayer? Yvonne, I don't think there's anything we can add to that. Sure. And we're just going to do a prayer right now with him. Yes. And why don't you pray for sure. us? Sure. Father God, we just thank you so very much. We thank you that you've been in our midst, that your spirit has been here. We thank you for the transformation that you've made in each of our lives. Thank you for where you brought Brother Richard and the fact that he knows you, mm -hmm. the fact that he's experienced you. We thank you, Lord, because we can see yes. that. We mm -hmm. just praise you and we ask you to continue to be with him yes. as he continues this journey. We ask that you will um, continue to bless him mm -hmm. and enlighten him and be with all of us. Be with everyone within the sound of my voice. Yes. that we may all turn to you with our whole hearts to give you everything within us. We thank you, Lord. We praise you, God. Yes. We thank you for all that you've done yes. and for all that you're going to do. And yes. one day we'll be able to stand on that sea of glass yes. and we'll be able to say, worthy is the yes. lamb mm -hmm. that was slain. Amen. We yes. thank you, God, for all yes. that you've done in Jesus' yes. name. Amen. 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 Oh, right. Jesus. Mm. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Yes. Oh, Lord, let your spirit go through this audience, Lord. Mm -hmm. Let them know that you're the only mm -hmm. God, mm -hmm. the only living Savior, yeah. and that you're ready to give us a right to the tree of life, Lord. Mm -hmm. You want us to know you've already given, you want us to accept it. Yes. Thank you for putting me with these people that love you, mm -hmm. these people that are determined to see you, Mm -hmm. Oh, God, and thank you for me and my sister and my brother. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, please yes, thank let you. write our name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Yes, Lord. Lord. Yeah. Give us that, Lord. We thank you for hearing us. Yes. Amen. We thank you for answering our prayers, Lord. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus. And for Jesus' sake. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise God. Thank you. God. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus. Well, I don't know about you, but I've, I've about got chill bumps on I me. Know. I know. I'm so He's blessed. on fire. Yeah, he is. He's on fire for God, and that's what we want to see. You know, yeah. one of the things that I was thinking, Danny, is that, and, and I think Pastor John kind of brought it out a little while ago, is that he has reached, Richard has reached a mountaintop, and yet, and he's had all, everything that money could buy, and yet he's choosing God because he knows that mm -hmm. that's, the right thing. There's so many people who want to be famous and rich and all that, and they're thinking that this is going to work for me, but Richard has been there, and you can see from him mm -hmm. that it doesn't work. It is all about Jesus, and mm -hmm. that's what he's all about. Yeah. Fame and fortune and all that. 
that stuff is it's fleeting, doesn't matter, and Richard's been there, and his life is a testimony to that fact, yeah. that he's been there and he chooses Jesus, and that's what you should do, choose Jesus. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now, you know what I'd like to do? What? I'd like to go do another interview with him. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, I want to go. Be ready, brother I want to go, too. You're watching. <laughs> yeah, be, be ready. We, we want to hear more. That's right. And, uh, mm -hmm. We only got a couple minutes uh, left. You guys, give, give us some closing comments. Oh, go ahead. No. I'll, That's I'll like, oh, 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 to the younger guy. Huh? <laughs> mess with you. But um, what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world mm. and loses okay. his soul? Mm. What can he give in exchange for his soul? Mm -hmm. There's a day that's coming. It's an inevitable day. It's a day that cannot be canceled, cannot be deterred, delayed, mm -hmm. cannot, be, uh, cannot be stopped. It's a day that's coming, and Richard knows that. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the humility that he had to go through, and uh, I, I remember, I remember the point that came out, I think, in a conversation somewhere, I think he alluded to the idea that uh, because he has dealt with some physical challenges, he said that may have been the Lord's way mm -hmm. of slowing him okay. down mm. so he could get him ready for eternity. Okay. Mm. And so there may be people that be, may be wondering, why do I go through what I go through and why do I have to hit mm. this wall? And Pastor Henry right years ago, he says, God sometimes allow the lesser evil to prevent the greater evil. Mm -hmm. So he hasn't lost anything that money can buy, but there's one thing money cannot buy, and that's the free gift of salvation. And that's the praise of the Lord. That's why mm -hmm. he is now every day when he's awake, he, he, he travels wherever he is, whether it's in the Nashville area, or other places, he, you could be sure somebody's gonna get a step to Christ. Somebody's gonna get a peace above the storm or a great controversy or desire of ages. And those seeds planted are gonna lead somebody to Christ. And you had a story kind of along that line that was, yeah, you yeah, should have, I never in, heard in, that. In the interview, it actually was in there, but a lady years, years later on Facebook actually said when I told about this interview, mm. She was aimlessly walking in Hollywood and, and somebody stopped, rolled a window, it's little Richard, she couldn't believe it, gave, gave her steps to Christ and she's a, a Christian today, Seventh-day Adventist Christian. Wow. You know, mm. see our time is, is, is about gone. I can but do it very quickly. I'm so glad that God looks at our life on the video and not the snapshot. Yes. If he had looked at little Richard 40 years ago and he was jumping on pianos and tutti frutti and all the place yeah. and taking a snapshot of his life yeah. and used that for judgment, he'd have been lost. But God looks at the video from the there start go. to the yes. finish. And now at the yeah. end of the video, God sees a man who's on fire for the Lord. Mm. And that's what he's going to take into judgment, the fact that he's on fire and living now for Jesus. Amen. High school kids, college kids, Yvonne, they're, they're wanting to make something life. They want to be famous. Mm. They want to make a lot of money. Mm. Mm. What do you tell them right now? That you have to really think about where your priorities are. If you've never experienced it, then you can't really, you can't really make a good judgment about it. Try Jesus first. Once you try Jesus, you're not going to want all the rest of that because you're going to realize that it really doesn't matter. It's not going to make you happy. It's not, gonna, it's not going to buy you that peace that passes all understanding. Mm -hmm. But Jesus, Jesus is the way. He's and, the way. And you know it, not on the scale of Little Richard, but, you know, your best friend, Luther Vandross. I mean, you, you, you saw you with him, you spent mm -hmm. a lot of time with him, sang with him, and you saw what the world had to offer, mm -hmm. but you chose all of the places I've been, and everything mm. that I've done, I, I trade that for my relationship with Jesus and what you're doing at Dare to Dream. Oh, Amen. that's right. So You can't compare So, so you're, her, no she comparison. speaks from experience, it's not just somebody, she's mm -hmm. been there to an extent. You got seven gold and platinum records, You've been there, but Jesus is the answer. That's what Jesus, you're telling us. Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the only answer. Absolutely. Everything else is, is smoke and mirrors. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Well, right. thank you guys for being here, and uh, sure. thank you at home for joining us <clears throat> as you do each and every day. Thank you for your love and your prayers and financial support of 3ABN as we endeavor to take this great gospel of the kingdom into all the world. Our time is all gone for today. Until we see you next time, may the Lord richly bless you abundantly more than you could ever ask or think. <laughs>